So thank you, Dr. Radhakrishnan Pillai, for accepting my invitation today to uh, you know spare some time and have this interaction and share something about your life, your ideas, your journey as an author. Thank you very much. I welcome you to the program. Thank you so much, Nitin sir. It's an honor to be part of your particular show and thanks for getting this interview done because we all belong to the same industry, the publishing and the book industry. So it's an honor to be part of this particular show. Sir, I uh, when when I was, I, I must tell you this at the outset, uh, years ago, uh, when I thought of writing my first book, when I ever, you know, this this love for writing and everything started in my life. There was one book that I read and that book was Corporate Chanakya. I must tell you this. Now that book, had a profound impact on my life. The, the best part about the book was probably the cover. And when I started reading it, my father always used to tell me about Chanakya. Chanakya Niti, you know, coming, we are, you know, coming from Rajasthan. He has, you know, this, this traditional roots and all of this. But reading about that, you know, reading that book and getting to know about Chanakya and all the concepts with that modern uh, understanding, modern link, I think something, I must tell you today that I'm getting, getting an opportunity to tell you face to face. Thank you very much. For 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 giving that 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 you know that I should say masterpiece to the world. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nitinji. Interestingly, this is also the tenth year of Corporate Chanakya's release. Wow! It was released in 2010, and we are in 2020. So it's actually a very phenomenal year for me. The tenth anniversary year of Corporate Chanakya. Thank now, you for that wonderful compliment. Isn't that amazing? Fantastic. Many, many congratulations to you and many, many more decades to celebrate. Right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> sir I'm, I'm all excited, I must tell you. I'm really excited. I can't even show my excitement to you because I have a, a lot of questions in my mind and I will not, you know, let you uh, take uh, breath today. I'm going to be really, you know, throwing questions at your way. So how I'll, would it be? I'll be yeah, happy, how, sir. I'll be happy. <laughs> so how would it be if I, if, if I start from your childhood? Maps is a rule puchunga as we move along. Ki, how did how did Chanakya, how did you and Chanakya meet each other? I will definitely ask this question. But how would it be if I ask you about your childhood? Kya Hamesha say you had this, this inclination towards book? Could you just take me into your childhood first, please? Yeah. I've been very fortunate, Nitinji, that I have been born in a family where reading was a part of our culture. My parents uh, read a lot. My father himself is a writer. Of wow. course, he's not a professional writer. He's an engineer by qualification, but he used to write books. Okay. Interestingly, the first book that my father wrote is also called as Radha. Oh, <laughs> so, wow. So this much before he got married, there is no connection with my name, Radha Krishna and his book. But the I reality see. is that, you know, writing probably I got as a gift from my father. My see. mother also, my father also. So mother is not a writer, but somewhere we believed in reading. And I being see. from the roots of Kerala, being see. a little state so reading uh, is a part of our culture whether you are uh, you know uh, wherever you are so for example we are from mumbai so you know we are actually okay. people who settled in from kerala to mumbai my parents had migrated okay. so, reading ka culture raha hai Jee. and writing ka abhi culture raha hai so likhna somewhere hamare bachpan se hi ek aadat ho gayi thi Jee. so the way chanakya happened to me was uh, because of chinmaya mission okay. if you have heard about chinmaya mission it's a spiritual organization Mm -hmm. So it so happened that uh, I've been reading Bhagavad Gita and various other Upanishads, Indian scriptures like Rama and Mahabharata. I've been studying that thanks to Chinmaya Mission. But as I grew bigger and I, when I became a businessman, I said I want to run my business the Indian way because I did my management, a lot of things, you know, but everything is about the Western concepts. Then I said, you know, let me try to understand Indian management. Mm -hmm. That's how I came across Chanakya. Bachpan mein Chanakya ki serial dekhi thi, Doordarshan pe. Jee. And now it's coming during the lockdown period also. Yes. But I read, I saw the serial, but uh, maybe I did not understand completely. Later on, I read the Kautilya Arthashastra. I studied it in detail. 6,000 sutras uh, in original Sanskrit. I did my MA, my PhD. So everything was around Chanakya. And finally, I'm so glad that my whole life is revolving around Chanakya for the last 20 years. <laughs> so, like anybody else, you know, it started as a curiosity ki chana kya hai kya. Jee. But dheere dheere apne jivan na utara, uski padai ki, aur jo bhi mera jivan ka anubhav hai, that is all coming to my books. So, that's how the chana kya journey started right from the childhood. Very nice. So, this is so, so inspiring. So, so, so you were like always interested in the Indian, traditional Indian, you know, yeah. script. Okay, right. That's, that sounds good to me. Great. And then, 
Chanakya. So, kya ye keh sakte hai that the serial when you so how old were you when this serial was live back then? Ah, uh, so if I'm right, I may be around 15, 16 years old. If I'm not mistaken, in that particular range, yeah. So, can we say that the serial has also had some sort of a deep impact on I your subconscious? Absolutely, absolutely. The books that you read, but the serial always is very visual. Yeah. And it is not about watching a movie for three hours. You know, it came for fifty-three or forty-seven uh, episodes, if I'm not remember. Right. It was right. almost like one whole year. So, dire right. dire ho gaya hua. So, yes, it's had a very serious, uh, serious impact on me. Let me also tell you that Doctor Chandra Prakash Devedi, hmm. who uh, made that serial and also acted as Chanak in that serial, uh, we have become great friends now. In oh. Fact, right. Uh, so, we work on various projects together. So, जिससे सीखा आज उनके साथ हम काम कर रहे हैं। I feel very uh, proud about that. And uh, I don't know if you know there is one more serial called Upanishad Ganga. Okay. Okay. That is currently also one of the very popular serials produced by uh, Chinmaya Mission. Currently being shown in Door Darshan also. I see. That was produced by Dr. Chandra Prakash Devedi. That right. is led by Dr. Chawla. And I have been instrumental to be part of that serial. So, सोचिए कि जिस व्यक्ति को हमने चाना क्या देखा था सीरियल में I'm उस actually working with him. उस वक्त कभी नहीं सोचा होगा. Yeah. कभी नहीं सोचा होगा. I would be working with this man. Yes. Well, even true. today, I tell you, अभी दूरदर्शन, you know, recently जब advertisements आए, and yeah. and uh, you know that gentleman who played Chanakya's role there, आज भी जब वो स्क्रीन पर आते हैं, I mean, look at the the powerhouse, you know, the energy, and looks like he is indeed the Chanakya, right? Yes. So I think we've been really fortunate there. So. So, uh, uh, if I, if I may ask about your education also, uh, in terms of education, आपने क्या किया है, आपने क्या पढ़ाई की? Uh, in fact, मैं एक कदम आगे भी बोलूँगा, मैं क्या पढ़ाई अभी कर रहा हूँ. Oh, so, very nice. You know, so we have a typical mindset in India. Graduate हो गए, job लग गए, MBA कर लिया, हो गया. No, 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 my journey is still going on in the field of education. So let me that's, start that's with the past. Slap your face. <laughs> 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 so let me start with the past so you know i did my graduation in sociology i did my management uh, I, i'm a qualified as an industrial management mm -hmm. and then i did my ma in sanskrit and i've been doing so many courses so think about it from a management person i went on to do uh, you know sanskrit studies i have done research in kautilya arthashastra i have done indology studies i have done so many certificate courses small and big but what is important the turn around came in when i did my ma in sanskrit and a phd In philosophy from the Mumbai University, I so see. qualification wise, I'm a Dr. Radha Krishnan Pillai. But Gee. as you rightly pointed out, uh, uh, currently I'm also continuing my DLIT. It is doctors. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Doctorate of Letters. It is one step higher than PhD, and I'm currently doing it in law. So, I'm just doing a little law ki padai kar raha hu, because Chanak was a law maker, a king maker. So, I have not yet stopped, and I've been fortunate that I'm also uh, guiding so many PhD students. So, PhD होने के बाद PhD students को guide भी कर रहा हूँ और खुद भी delete कर रहा हूँ. So, it's been a fantastic. It is so story. amazing. Yes, it is so inspiring, Dr. Pillai. It is so inspiring. And one thing that I thought was very good, which you have thought about in this direction, which is, you know, you wrote something for. Are young kids as well, you know. Yeah. I think you recently came up with a book for young kids on Chanakya. Kya, kya, what, what is the title of the book, sir? The title of the book is called Chatur Chanakya. Chatur okay. Chanakya. So, so Chatur Chanakya is like a character we created, and it is not one book; it is a series of books. Right. A lot of authors, budding authors, I would say, including myself, are just wondering when you say research. ये क्या है research? कैसे करते हैं? How do you do it? So, if you could just throw some light on the research, it would be really great. Yeah. So research has got two methods. One is the academic way of doing research, and the general way of doing research. So what is the academic way? See, I had an institution in the University of Mumbai. It is called the Chanakya International Institute of Leadership Studies, where you know I help my students to do research. They also do their master's degree. They write dissertation. They also do PhD. Now academic research depends on your subject. For example, if you are doing research in chemistry, so you require a laboratory. There is a process to it. and they're doing research on history then you have to read books go through the whole process so it's got a pattern but coming back to the next question of doing research for writing a book okay very very important is that it is a very generic research you don't have to be very academic in nature but we say that you know ki jis subject pe aap likhne wale ho us subject ki padhai kar lo you don't have to be formally qualified but you have to study a lot so i always tell this you know if you want to write one book At least read hundred books of that subject. 
so that is very very important so what happens you will get ideas and when you get those ideas for example let's say you are writing a crime fiction as an example okay or you are writing a biography so what you need to do is that you should at least read 100 is a big number of course what i'm saying but if you can even read, read 10 15 books of successful authors of different authors on the space of crime fiction then what happens you get ideas as you are aisa likhte hai ye karte hai wo karte hai in the same way if you are uh, wanting to write a biography of your own or somebody else read the books of other successful biographies that is also research to ye research sir kaha kab shuru ye ke end kaha hoga research ka a lot of people get you know really struggle shuru to kiya you said research is important lekin kai bar is quest mein to do research people spend a lot of time and they don't even stop is par aapka kya kehna hai sir uh, in fact research uh, is an unending process ji ये चलते ही रहता है एंड ऐसा कहते हैं कि द मोमेंट यू फाइंड एन आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन यू विल हैव अनदर क्वेश्चन जी सो ये तो अनएंडिंग प्रोसेस है लेकिन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दैट व्हेन यू आर राइटिंग अ बुक इट्स अ प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच शुड आल्सो हैव अ डेडलाइन राइट सो सपोज यू स्टार्टेड विद ए क्वेस्ट एंड यू हैड अ क्वेश्चन यू वेंट ऑन एंड ऑन यू फाउंड एन आंसर राइट द मोमेंट यू फाइंड एन आंसर यू सी कि देयर इज समथिंग येट एंड so what is very important is to draw the line okay right. and that way when you are working on a book project you can keep writing and all of those things but there is a point when you have to stop and that is the work of the publisher that is also the work of the editor and saying that enough because it can go on and on and on so let's say you are, you are supposed to write 50000 words as an example of a book it is enough research but the research material will be like okay you can go to 50000 55000 60000 But you can't keep writing, writing, writing. Correct. So what is important is cut a line and then say, okay, if there is something left over, if there is something remaining, we'll do it in the next book. Right. So it is very important. Otherwise, it goes on and on. In fact, this is also the duty of a PhD guide. Okay. okay. So as a PhD guide, when my students are doing research, the first phase is that they don't know how to do research. Right. Okay. So that's right. the first phase. Right. The second phase is that they got so engrossed in research, you have to say enough. Hmm. Now you start writing your thesis. <laughs> right. So. first phase is to start research the second phase is to make the research better but the third phase is to stop the research true and say enough now you start publishing so that's very important to put a deadline so that 10 15% is okay but somewhere you have to stop only then the book will come out fantastic i have a quick question for you and the question is how many books have you written so far i know not just chanakya and i was i was very happy to see one of the books on writing a book You have also written a book on how to write a bestseller. Is that is that the title? If I'm getting it correctly, please tell us something about it. Absolutely. So I've written 15 books on Chanakya. Right. And I've written two more books right now, so that becomes 17. Right. Other than that, two audio books, okay, I which see. is other than the books. So it's a pure original content, mm -hmm. and so it becomes 15 plus two, 17 plus two, 19, and very important, two movies. Wow. That's what something people don't know. No. So the number is almost twenty-one. Tell yeah, us, so tell us. You... Oh, come on, tell us something about the movie then. Okay, so the, if you go to Google and search "Chanakya Speaks," okay. So uh, there is a very famous uh, uh, Bollywood company or entertainment company called as Shemaru. Mm -hmm. Yes. So they actually approached me when my book "Corporate Chanakya" came in, and we produce uh, a management movie based on Chanakya. Wow. And it's called Chanakya Speaks. It's got a storyline. Of course, it's not a theoretical release. Okay. It, it is not a document. It's got a plot, so you can see it. How management is taught through a movie. It's a full-fledged movie with one and a half hours, characters, film stars, and all those things. So, so but it was limited to. Is it like available? People can watch. Can we watch it somewhere? Of course, anybody. That's what I'm just go and say Chanakya Speaks. Wow. You can see the trailer. You can go and see everything. Yes. Now that. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. it also got an international award in the category of management films excellent and no surprises there coming from a man of your stature no surprises there uh, dr okay, pillai but, yeah but, but before i answer your question you should also ask me about the second movie oh, and yeah, that is course. very yeah yeah go okay. ahead please tell me so they say you make a lot of money not by books but actually making movies on books <laughs> <laughs> I got involved in a very major movie by Neeraj Pandey. If you heard about Neeraj Pandey, the yes. director, yes. So Wednesday, MS Dhoni, Toilet, uh, Baby, all these movies, you yes. know, Rustam. Right. So uh, yeah, we're actually uh, there is a movie being made on Chanakya. Okay. Uh, recently, Neeraj Pandey also made Special Ops that uh, on Hotstar. Okay. So this is a full-fledged movie, Bollywood movie. In 
which Ajay Devgan is going to be acting as Chanakya. So we are ah. currently in the writing process. Now and we, you'll see that. It, it is absolutely amazing, friends. Every one of you watching this must be jumping on your seat right now, knowing the possibilities and and the, and the probabilities and whatnot. Sir, all of this starts with just one step, right? One step that we take when we decide that we want to write a book on a topic. Am I right, sir? It all starts with just one step, the day we decide. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So that's what I'm saying. I realize one thing, many people don't know how to write books. Therefore, as you said, how to write a book and make it a bestseller. Take and the first step, remaining everything will follow. Absolutely. Now, I have a quick question for you. The question is, when was your first book released? It was year 2010. 2010 was when your first book was released. And 2000, Corporate Chanakya. 2020, within a span of 10 years, you worked on almost, almost 18, 17 to 18 books, you said, right? Wow, isn't that, um, isn't that amazing? So is it like you, you come up with a book uh, in every six months or how is it? So it is like, you know, in the beginning stages, uh, you start very uh, slow. So first book took me four and a half years to write. Right. And the next book took me two years to write. Right. And then it's like on an average one book a year. In fact, uh, there was one year when I actually released four books in a year. <laughs> right. Wow. And now imagine I'm writing actually two books in one month. So because oh of the lockdown advantage. <laughs> That's so, really so the good. speed increases. With practice, you only become perfect and better and better. <laughs> right, right. Dr. Pillay, I want to ask you, is there somebody who assists you in your books or is it you do it all by yourself or do you have people helping you? Yeah, please. So this is a very interesting question. Even my editors and publishers ask you, <laughs> do you have a ghostwriter? In fact, I remember my uh, editor from Jayco had come to my office Gee. and uh, I, I, I had uh, got delayed by five minutes. So they had uh, reached the office and they were asking my assistant, okay, hmm. is such mein kitab likta hai kya <laughs> <laughs> because the kind of a speed that I write, people say, Iska koi ghost writer hoga. Gee. The reality is that I, I do write a book all by myself, yes. but I would say that I type a book. Right. And by the grace of God, my typing speed is very good. Okay. My my writing speed, I've calculated, uh, it is almost like 5,000 words a day. Wow. Okay, so that's my good writing speed. Uh. Wow. Uh, of course, now I, I don't write 5,000 every day. Yeah. But what I'm saying, if I decide to rank, I can actually write. So I do write. But uh, the second question, Nitin sir, is very important. I also have a team. Right. So what happens is that uh, there are two teams that I work with. Uh, in my own office, there are 10 people who work right. with the books. Right. Uh, but their work is not about writing. Uh, so what happens, I work with my team of the publisher. Because the publisher has got an editor. Right. They've got a cover design guy. Right. Once I write the manuscript, I do a little bit of a self-editing with my team and all those things. But then the main job comes with the editor's team, you know, the, the whole uh, process of uh, re-editing and right. going and you know it better than Right, right. It takes three to six months to bring out a good right. book in right. editing phase, the cover right. phase. After the book is released, my team in my office takes over. Then it is all about marketing, it's about strategizing, that we make videos around it. So my team in my office is more about the marketing and taking it to the masses, you know. So the publisher works on it, but as an author, I know it's a responsibility to work and market it. So yes, there are two teams, the publisher's team and my own team in my office. So we work as a, you know, fantastic collaboration model. Gone are the days when, you know, authors have to only uh, do writing work. Authors also have to be marketers. They also have to be financially savvy because they have to understand it's not easy to sell a book. Correct. You know, it's a very difficult process. So we have a team, publishers are a team. It's a win-win situation and it's joint effort. No doubt about that. You said it absolutely right. Marketing is also the responsibility of the author. I'm going to touch upon that. So I'm, I'm keeping you, I'm keeping you on hold on this particular point because I want to know something about your writing routine. I just want to get into yeah. your routine. Is it like you, uh, you wake up early and then you type or you take a day off? People have told me that, you know, they go, uh, you know, out somewhere on a vacation, on a resort and then they type. What's your writing schedule like? And uh, that's a very interesting question because everybody has his or her own writing style. Right. So some people can get up in the morning. Some people can get up, uh, stay late night. Some people can do it in their offices also. I've seen people, you know, some people write it while travel. But I don't have a writing schedule like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I work uh, on writing mm -hmm. as far as deadlines is concerned. 
राइट सो पाइन इज रिवर्स कि अच्छा किताब कब चाहिए अब एक महीने में चाहिए ठीक है देन आई स्टार्ट रिवर्स यू नो कैलकुलेशन से ओके एक महीना 5000 वर्ड्स पर डे सम रीडिंग रिसर्चिंग ओके दैट मींस आई हैव टू राइट 3 आवर्स अ डे फॉर एग्जांपल ओके सो देन आई सेड ओके आई हैव टू वर्क ऑन द बुक देन आई डोंट लुक एट द मॉर्निंग और इवनिंग देन आई से ओके 3 आवर्स पर डे समटाइम्स आई गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग एंड राइट समटाइम्स आई डू लेट नाइट समटाइम्स आई हैव इवन रिटर्न इन एयरपोर्ट्स and i have written you know just uh, you know stopping uh, in, a, in a in a railway station also laptop nikala likh diya shuru ho gaya my whole idea is once i decide to write then nothing can stop me so it is not the area it is not the time it is the mission mode right so once i get into the mission mode so what happens between uh, uh, different books there are different timelines you know some books are 6 months to write then i said theek hai yaar some books are saying jaldi karna hai jaldi karna hai so i don't want the quality to suffer so the way i look at it is that i require minimum 3 hours and the split can be 3 hours in one go or it can be 1 hour in the morning and 2 hours in the evening or it can be you know 3 hours at one shot or split it all depends i have also written in half half an hour breaks hmm. so subah thoda likha then you know i got ready then thoda likha so it is never also what is very important is that your flow should be there hmm. you know suppose i decide to skim ghanta likhunga hmm. there is a process to it i have hmm. written in a book how to write a book hmm. but what happens is that you sit uh, sit down to write and sometimes the flow doesn't happen hmm. so you know the writers block as you call it but right. you know there is other side of it also it's called the writers block and the other thing is called the writers flow hmm. so if you go to the flow i just take up my laptop and start writing i remember this that uh, uh, there was a meeting that i was going through and uh, suddenly an idea struck me so imagine everybody is waiting in a, uh, in a conference room and the meeting is going on i just took the permission of uh, one of the friends and said you know uh, ashish uh, i require some break so well, what happened meeting chal rahi hota nahi mujhe ek idea strike hua hai bolta hai theek hai tu ja i went out just sat in the lobby it was a five star hotel i remember just sat in the lobby took the laptop and 2500 words wow. written in one go wow so it's not when it is where i get the idea when i get the idea then i am just on the flow Absolutely. so it all depends on lot of factors but yes once i decided target i achieve it i really loved every bit of the information that you shared there you fix up a deadline in the mind and and then reverse the you know you look at that's when i need to get the book out and then you move heaven and earth to ensure that you get it out uh dr pillai do you use any tools as such are there any recommended tools that you use and you want to recommend here Uh, so i think everybody's tools would be different whatever you are comfortable with for me my my, my tool is my laptop okay so i just pick up my laptop i have a simple uh, macbook uh, and uh, the one which i use is pages right in windows it is called uh, microsoft word you know? right so i think i'm very comfortable in that uh, and uh, you know because my writing speed is very good i have learned typing asdf you know actually the key things So I think for me it's very simple. I I don't use some softwares and things like that. Right. Because you know that is something which everybody has to be comfortable with. I'm comfortable with a basic uh, document that I can type and edit also. So for me it's very simple, like any other uh, tool, which is their Microsoft Word or Number. Ah, uh, sorry, or Pages. Right. Before I move on to the next question that I have for you, just curious to know, do your family members read your books? In fact, uh, they are my first critic, and they push me towards my target. Wow, it's so good to hear. In that. fact, uh, so in fact, uh, as I told you, you know, in our uh, house, uh, there are so many books. Hmm. Uh, we always say, you know, we don't live in a house; we live in a library. Wow. <laughs> so wow. every one of us is a reader. In fact, my wife is also a Bharat Natyam dancer teacher. She's working on a PhD. My children love books, so you know we are almost have got seven thousand books in our house. Wow. So it's a kind of a house that we are in. So. You know, we generally discuss and say, "Acha, Papa, which sa book are you reading?" Acha, this book. Right. So sometimes it's two, three books. You know, so they keep pricking me. What was his book? What was his book? Right. So I think uh, we we have this reading and writing and the book culture in our house. It's very positive. You know, right. my father is a writer, my mother. Right. So so I think uh, having that house environment is very good. So when I decide to write, there is a complete cooperation from everyone. You know, that he is on a deadline, and you know, I just sit into this room and say, "Okay, let's write." even my children who are very small they are hardly 8 years and 10 years old but they also understand that it's very important to support dad in writing so yes a family support is very very essential and they understand because you know publicly wherever they go they always say you know mere mere papa author hai ah. that's what the world knows absolutely so they keep help me and it, it's great to have a family support when you're writing a book so remember absolutely. if you're writing your first book 
please involve your family take the blessings from your parents the permission from your wife and the love from your children that's how you become a great author <laughs> you summarized it there really very very well now you know i i'm so keen to know about your publishing journey but what i what i'm able to understand is there were no real struggles as such jo sunne mein aata hai itna ki you know you write a book and then you struggle to get it published what do you have to say about that मेरे केस में कोई स्ट्रगल नहीं है तो यू नो सर आई डोंट आई बीन फॉर्चुनेट इट इज गॉड्स ग्रेस या फिर मैं हमेशा बोलता हूँ पप्पा की कृपा है माई डैड बिकॉज इज अ राइटर शायद उनका पूरा पुण्य मुझे मिल गया सो एन एवरीबडी से मुझे समझ में नहीं आता वेरी फ्रेंकली बिकॉज राइट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट बुक टू दिफ्टीन बुक आई हैव वर्क विद फाइव पब्लिशिंग हाउस आपको पब्लिशर ने अप्रोच किया है So I think I always thank them, and I feel you know it's a great honor. So I never get into the I'm a successful author, so I should have an attitude. So I think what is very very important is that I never went through the struggle. Uh, that is the starting point. But I never make my publisher also struggle. Right. <laughs> That's even more important. Yeah. Because they are very important. So I believe that you know to understand the book, and I you know my publishers are very happy with me because I understand the process. Right. Not many people know that actually I was a salesperson who actually sold books. <laughs> right. Oh really? And ये किसी को पता नहीं है कि actually I used to head a publishing company once upon a time at the marketing level, not oh. as an owner. I see. So so world space करके company में मैं काम करता था. We used to have a sports magazine. Right. Called Cricket Talk, and I used to work very closely at the top management level. Right. So किताबे physical किताबे कैसे बिकती है? मैं खुद बेचा हूँ. in fact we have also introduced signal sales of book this is almost 20 years ago wow so when i work with a publisher it is not just an author i understand the pain that goes into sales logistics yes. i understand the financials involved yes. i understand what is called returns right i understand what is inventory so in the publishers are so happy with me in fact i go and meet every single salesman of the publishers office i wow. go and inspire them they inspire me in fact i have a whatsapp group where you know every single It's my and of my publishing company is in touch with me. Every wow. single sales, you know. Right. So I put lot of effort to understand how the book becomes a bestseller. It is not just about writing a book. That's only one part of it. So I started with the research, quality writing, simple writing. But afterwards, when I get into mission mode, you know, this could be bestseller. Banana is it. So can I say what I mean? That I have been uh, fortunate that publishers approach me. But the reality is that my relation with them is because I'm very practical person. I respect them कि basically उनको भी पैसा बनाना है हमको भी पैसा बनाना है For all first time authors, uh, I have seen this, you know, they keep changing publishers, and I say, you know, ये publisher बराबर नहीं है तो उस publisher के पास जाओ and they ask me suggestions, you know, who whom do you think is the best publisher? I say forget that question. Are you a good author first? Wow. Because instead of telling who is the best publisher, every publisher has his own pluses and minuses. Yes. So don't let you know. Oh, everything is like as smooth as. So I work with a company like Amazon. So I have an audio book with Audible. Right. Okay, Storytel. That's all. Right. So if you look at it, I have I work. You know, Random Penguin Book House is world's number one publication. Indeed. World's number. One. Indeed. It is the oldest company. In fact, uh, I was also sent to London to actually meet the chief editor in their London head office. Right. So I understand how the publishing industry work. I have I've have, I've have traveled across the globe, understanding the publishing world. Hmm. If you know, like we have crossword change and uh, you know bookstores in India, we have Barnes and Noble. Abroad. Right. Right. I have actually met. So 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 what Radha Krishnan Pillai is not just the author, but who understands the whole system across the world globally. So the end of it, because I can speak the publisher's language, the publishers comes again and again to me. And let me also tell you, uh, the tuning with the publisher is very important for an author. And one suggestion to all the listeners: never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, ever be selfish when you write a book. मेरे को कितना पैसा मिला, मुझे कितना फायदा हुआ. Please understand this: it's a partnership between like husband and wife. Nobody is perfect, okay? So uh, there is a saying that you know, do you believe in uh, love marriage? Uh, Arranged marriage. Somebody said, "I believe in successful marriage." <laughs> so the marriage between the publisher and the author is like that. You know, it is not the con and self-published day. No, you have to work very hard, and you also have to understand that you know the other person. So I think 
I've been lucky that the publishers approached me, but I work very closely with the publisher to make sure the book is successful for everyone. Everybody makes money. Everybody is happy. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent ideas there. I'm just loving this and I hope everybody who is watching this is loving it as well. Quick, quick question that I have for you is for people who want to get published, what is your suggestion to them? Should, should they, should they, uh, yes. <laughs> so, so yeah, I want to ask you is, should they finish off the manuscript first? Then they should approach the publishers. How is this, is this process? Does it look like? Yeah. So as I told you, the first thing about uh, being a publisher is start writing. Okay. So even though I got uh, approached by a publisher, uh, but remember I was already a writer. I used hmm. to write for newspapers and magazines. So see, you may have a great idea. Okay. Uh, but you should know how to write that idea into a book. Okay. Now, the second question is that if your manuscript is already ready, then you have to go to a publisher. Right. But many times, uh, if you look at it, saying that, you know, you can do this parallelly. Hmm. So, instead of completing the manuscript and then giving to the publisher, you can actually discuss with the publisher while writing the book also. Correct. So, if you have already found a publisher, the publisher will guide you. Correct. Okay. And if your manuscript is already uh, ready, then you should find a publisher. So, I think... Uh, uh, finally, even if you have written a manuscript, please understand you will have to rewrite the manuscript because the publisher will give you some suggestion, the editor will give you some suggestion. Right. So, manuscript is not a book. Right. Manuscript is the starting point of converting it into a book. Right. So, it's very, very essential that whether you found a publisher or no, start working on a manuscript. Right. Manuscript starts with writing. So, if you don't know how to write a book, start writing articles. So, right. write an article like every day. Start writing a diary every day. Right. Because idea is not a book. Right. Idea into words can become a book. Makes so sense. So writing is the first step before you even approach a publisher. Makes complete sense to me. Makes complete sense to, sense to me. Now, you said something about a bestseller. And you said you, you decided I want to make it a bestseller. What is a bestseller? Yeah, that's a very interesting question. And everybody should know it. It's a very statistical number. When Corporate Chanakya was released in 2010, I remember we had this grand launch with more than 350 CEOs. It was in the University of Mumbai, the Vice Chancellor, so many great people were there. And after the launching, first book, hai na, humko pata hi nahi hota hai. so I went to uh, Ashwin Bhai Shah, who is the owner of Jayco Books. And I said, you know, Ashwin Bhai, Akash, who is now running the whole show. I said, Akash and Ashwin Bhai, thank you so much. Now the book has come out, Corporate Chanakya, first book. But I want to make it a bestseller. Hmm. And I was in sales. <laughs> so I asked what actually makes a bestseller. Right. So Ashwin Bhai did some calculations and 10,000 copies is good. Achha. What is the logic of 10,000 copies? Haan. It's later on that I realized Haan. that you know in India, uh, generally the publishers have a concept called print run, minimum print run. Right. And you as a publisher, Nitin, yeah. you're also knowing yeah. this. So yeah. what is a print run? Is saying that when you are having a book, you can't just print one book. Okay, Correct. that can be done as an example. Yeah. But you know, when you have to go for a printer, it has to be a minimum lot. So the lot size is 1,000 copies. So generally, the first edition is 1,000 yeah. copies. Yeah. So if that 1,000 copies gets exhausted, sold, right. then right. they go for the second edition. Right. And depending on the demand and supply, you know, right. sometimes there's 2,000 copies, sometimes right. 3,000 copies. Right. General benchmark uh, in the traditional way of publishing is 1,000 copies per printer. True. So Ashwin Bhai actually said, you know, if it's a best print, then it's a best seller. So the simple benchmark rule in India is that if a book has sold 10,000 copies, it's a best seller. Best seller. But let me also tell you the other way around. 10,000 is nothing in a country of 130 crore people. Correct. So I never believe that, you know, 10,000 copies. I always say that every book has to sell at least a lakh of a copy. And right. I've been fortunate that all my books have. Wow. <laughs> so, Brilliant. Brilliant, sir. So 10,000 copies is a benchmark, but somebody not should not look at 10,000, should, should look at more than that number. And now I'm coming on to the most important aspect. Ye kare kaise? Written the book. I'm an author. I'm an, you know, I'm a writer. You know, I'm an author and I, and I can write. I can do the research. I can get the content and I can write something interesting that people would love to read. Ab ye kare I take the pain and I become a marketer as well. And I, and I try and market and sell the book as well. Ye bhi mujhe karna hoga as an author, sir. Of course, Karna Hoga, giving a birth uh, to a child is not parenting. Okay? Bacha jab ta khud ke pair pe chal nahi jata, aap, aap achche maa pita ji nahi bante ho. So, remember, being an author is also a responsibility. Unbelievable. That's, I've never heard anybody putting it in a better words than that. Brilliant. 
एब्सोल्युटली सो गिविंग बर्थ टू अ चाइल्ड और उसको छोड़ दोगे कोई नहीं देखेगा पब्लिशर भी नहीं देखेगा आप भी नहीं देखोगे कहीं पढ़ा रहेगा बिल्कुल यू नो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट आफ्टर यू ब्रिंग आउट अ बुक दैट्स एक्चुअली व्हेन यू गिव बर्थ टू अ बुक यू बिकम एन ऑथर राइट बट अदरवाइज उसको खिलाना पड़ता है पिलाना पड़ता है उसको संस्कार देने पड़ते हैं यू हैव टू सेंड इट टू स्कूल एंड स्टिल इंडिया में तो वी गेट वन स्टेप फर्दर यू नो जब तक बच्चे को शादी करके सेटल करके हम ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स नहीं बनते ठीक बात है I I know this that everybody doesn't think like that and they said अच्छा book release हो गया तो काम खत्म जी but the way I look at it is that you know the moment the book is released आपका काम की शुरुआत होती है right so that's why my book uh, which is how to write a book and make it a bestseller has got two parts right okay first is how to write a book and get it published the second part is very important make it how to make it a bestseller right and i take both of them very seriously right. okay so the writing part is also serious the research part is also serious but marketing is also equally serious right so it is a very important combination bahut sare log acche kitab likhte hain lekin marketing nahi kar pate correct bahut sare log itna marketing karte hain but content nahi hota hmm you don't also understand just because you are written a book because on social media doesn't mean it will become a best seller right so all they say that you know good content should be packaged well right and it should be distributed well so there's a science of how to publish a book in india you know it better than yeah, me yeah. so the way i look at it ye mehnat ka kaam hai hmm. ha if you want to just have one book in your bio data saying that i am also a published author well theek hai wo ek alag baat that's it all depends on individual though correct so it's okay saying that you know i wrote a book and maybe and whenever i get a chance i gift it to somebody but for me it's very different because i'm in a mission mode to promote chanakya right the why am i writing 15 books is not just about you know, being an author every time i said okay naya dimension kuch mil sakta hai kya so i'm actually uh, inspiring a whole generation to read chanakya absolutely this is that is what makes me market it better right radha bill is very secondary it right. is chanakya which is very important right. so if you look at What I'm trying to do is bring back Chanakya into a common man's house. Right. Of course, the serial has done it in a visual format. Yes. But the knowledge part of it has to go into schools, colleges, and corporates. Yes. Every office, exactly. Yes. The corporates, every leader, and today it is not just corporates; it is the government. It is actually ah. the armed forces. It is mm. the administration. Mm. IAS, IPS officers read my book. They organize my programs. The bankers wow. have done programs for Reserve Bank of India. Right. So many banks, the Army, Navy, Air Force, you know. So that that is what inspires me in saying that it's not just writing, you know, it's actually Chanakya revolution that I'm part of. Now that's the sort of mindset that one should have when he's working on his book, right? It's not just about writing a book and eventually promoting it. If if he's on a mission mode like you, then you know it's such a big picture. You end up writing so many books because you look at a bigger purpose. That's absolutely brilliant. But then I'm 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 still keen because that's what viewer wants viewers want to know what to do. Are there any specifics that you can share? About by do this at least if you're not doing anything, ये तो जरूर करो भाई to make sure कि आपका बच्चा पैरों चले. So I I want to know something about that. So the specific thing is that after your book is released, right. two years, right? Two years think about your next book. Right. Okay. Okay. So one of the big mistakes first time authors do mm-hmm. is that the moment one book is released, they they have a launch party and you know they can see it in Amazon and have some photos click. Over. I said no. Abhi ab kya karoge? Abhi naya book ke baare mein sochte hain. Sorry sir. Hmm. Next two years you should actually promote the book. Hmm. Okay. So as I said, the first maybe one or two years is about writing, working with the publisher. Then you do market it. So right. that step is two right. years. Right. So I have a lot of friends, you know, who said, you know, ki nahi yar, mera abhi two saal nahi hai, mere pas time nahi hai, working zame. So okay, you are working zame, then do it on weekends, you know, Saturday Sunday karo. Utna bhi zame nahi, to shaam ko karo. Right. Wo bhi nahi zame hai, to social media mein promote karo. Right. And it's free. Okay. So I've been actually going around physically doing launches. Right. Just to tell you, you know, Chana Kain, you one of my books, which actually got the Book of the Year award, Crossword right. Raymond Book of the Year award. Wow. In fact, I did. You would be surprised. I had a target of doing hundred launches in a year. Wow. One. 100. the launch 100 book launches in a year but i completed 128 launches <laughs> <laughs> that's even amazing but sir i have a question there before before we move ahead it costs a lot of money to to do a book launch no it doesn't okay you have to understand how others actually take the cost on them <laughs> so pa- paisa to lagta hai lekin logo kya lagta hai mera hi paisa lagega आपका समय लगेगा आपका एफर्ट लगेगा पीपल विल कंट्रीब्यूट सो लेट मी गिव अ सिंपल एग्जांपल हाउ आई डिड इट डू यू थिंक आई एम अ मल्टी मिलियनियर हु आई एम नॉट सो इफ आई हैड टू डू 100 लॉन्चेस यू थिंक आई हैव गॉट दैट मच मनी टू गो एंड स्पेंड नो 
So this is where strategy of Chanakya comes in. Okay, so what I do is that everywhere I go, I speak about the book and make it an event around it. Wow. इससे हमारे मोदी जी करते हैं ना, he gets a chance, he will make an event around it. You know, he's a he's a great marketing Indeed, person. Indeed, absolutely. So so think like Modi ji when you want to see so if somebody calls me for a lecture I said theek hai lecture ke liye aaunga lekin ek baat hai kya ek book launch karna hai ah. okay good aur 100 book lena hai aapko ah. so think about it when when situation right okay so that uh, so i been a corporate trainer i been a trainer. people call me for a lot of lectures right so i put that one condition one book launch <laughs> so that travel cost is taken care with them book also they uh, you know they buy right and of course it's also i get a chance to speak about the book absolutely so what is very important is that aapka paisa hai to lagaiye but aap kitni bar lagaoge 100 bar to nahi laga sakte na true i have seen lot of people maybe the first launch is about your money right but let me tell you when i started i had no money right but that is where strategy comes in ki see you have to split into this and saying that paisa kiske liye lagta hai ठीक बात। For example, let's say you are doing it in a local city, जैसा hmm. समझो बॉम्बे में और दिल्ली कॉल कर रहा है नहीं वे। You don't have to travel anywhere, so zero cost in traveling. Then you say auditorium book करना है, okay? तो so auditorium के लिए पैसा नहीं है, ठीक है? Where is that auditorium available free of cost? Hmm. And I'll give a tip here right now. Hmm. All education institutions, hmm. yeah. colleges, universities have auditoriums. So उनका काम ही लेक्चर ऑर्गेनाइज करना है। <laughs> Right. <laughs> All companies have auditoriums, you know, right. they have rooms. So you just go to a company book launch, and authors have a lot of respect. Aye, aye, yeah, we will book launch. करेंगे. So, देख क्या आपको auditor आप auditorium का खर्चा करते होंगे. Now the second is audience. Audience कहाँ से लेके आए? So I go to college and say that आपके students को बिठा दो. Company वो बोलते हैं आपके लोगों को बिठा दो. हो गया. फिर खाना पीना देखो इतने लोग आएंगे तो खाना पीना खिलाई देंगे. India में तो you know बिना खाने के तो शादी भी नहीं होती. ठीक <laughs> बात. <laughs> So if you look at it, there are three main costs. You know, event management cost, people cost, and food cost. Right. Okay? Right. So you don't have to do anything. Right. So I have with somebody who can manage all that thing. Absolutely. You know? Hundred launches every. And you know the best part is that if you go to, like, I'll give you a very interesting example. I was once called by PwC, Price Waterhouse Coopers. Okay. Yeah. And you know that lot of companies, lot of corporates have actually a librarian on their payroll. Yes. Yes. ये बहुत बड़ा मार्केट है ये और लाइब्रेरियन इवन इन कंपनी कॉर्पोरेट दे सो प्रॉपर पेड लाइब्रेरियन ले ओ बैठ के वहां पे या बैठती है वहां पे बुक्स सो यू अप्रोच अ लाइब्रेरियन एंड टेल देम आई नीड टू कम टू योर पर्टिकुलर लाइब्रेरी एंड लॉन्च इट राइट सर पर पीडब्ल्यूसी प्राइस ऑर्डर ऑफ पर्पस हैज गॉट अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल लाइब्रेरी इन बॉम्बे राइट सो लाइब्रेरियन अप्रोच में आप मैं यहां पे आके करोगे क्या वो तो हो गया नो कॉस्ट राइट आई टेल यू दे गिव यू मनी To buy wow. your books, right? So please understand, it's the mindset. Yeah. Okay. So money is important. Money is a resource, but for what? Yes. If you actually understand, you can get either money sponsored or you can get people sponsoring in kind. Wow. Yes. So True. that is where strategy comes in. You request strategy, money will follow you. Absolutely amazing, sir. Look at that insight, friends. I hope you are jumping on your seat with excitement. There, you can do hundred book launches without even spending a penny on this. Why? Because you got to. Yeah, and, and taking money, of course, because you you got to understand that once you become an author, you are the expert, you have the authority. People want to listen to you, but you got to first believe it in your heart. Okay, I'm worth being, you know, invited by other people. Ah, uh, Doctor Pillai, amazing. रुकने का मन नहीं है. इसके साथ एक और strategy जोड़ दीजिए कि अब online भी कुछ करने का बता दीजिए कि what is it that we need to do online so that we can get massive visibility for the book. क्या क्या what is it that we should do? Okay, I think uh, first thing is to be available on social media, hmm. whichever platforms you believe in. So I'm in all platforms of hmm. social media. Okay, for example, you just go and uh, look at you know Radha Krishnan Pillai on Twitter. I'm right. very active on right. LinkedIn, on Facebook. Uh, you just go on Instagram, you know. Yeah. So and YouTube, of course. Yeah. So if you look at it, you know, if you look at the social media, you have to be present. Right. Okay, so initially I used to post it myself. Now I have a team. Okay, so that's a complete social media team working full time around it. So the first thing is uh, be active on social media. The second important thing for online is partner with friends who believe in social media, like what you are doing so right, right now. Right. Right. So you know, एक तो मैं खुद का करूँगा, but that's a very selfish way of looking at it. कि मुझे ही सब करना है. Right. But you know, like I think one of my particular very good friends. Uh, he's younger than me, but I consider him as a mentor. His name is Ranveer. uh ranveer alabadia right so right he runs a very famous youtube channel true. called as beer biceps true it was sir he just called me up and said aapka interview kar raha hai but theek hai oh 
यू गेट अ चांस ऑन योर प्लेटफॉर्म सो नितिन जी आपके प्लेटफॉर्म पे भी मुझे फायदा मिलता है सो एवरी डे इन द लॉकडाउन एट लीस्ट आई हैव बीन गिविंग इंटरव्यू टुडे इज माय थर्ड इंटरव्यू राइट वाओ राइट ओके राइट सो इट वाज अ कॉलेज स्टूडेंट हु इंटरव्यूड मी देन देयर वाज समबडी हु इज अ टेक कंपनी पर्सन टू सो लुक एट इट सो मेरा सोशल मीडिया तो है ही राइट सो यू नो दैट इज माय but why don't you use the social media of others because they also want new Absolutely. content Absolutely. i also want new platforms so right. what is very important social media is about i me myself but also collaborations for right. example all my publishers they have their social media unke liye video banata hu theek baat hai like uh, today morning i got a call from flipkart okay ah, now okay. flipkart is selling my books right and they just uh, made an announcement saying that you know we are physically delivering books right it's not oh, come out as an essential okay right so tell the book wasn't an essential so somewhere the, the whole industry worked together and it's made an essential but nobody knows because mm-hmm. you know online may order that so today i am actually using a video to market my books on flipkart right so that is a partnership the first right. thing is market yourself create right. your own social media second is be on other people's social media true okay? true the third and the most important thing is that social media is ever evolving right so ye soche ke se facebook pe dal de to ho gaya so there are new ideas that's coming in there are new techniques for example podcast right you know what no about it podcast true. is big very right. big right. in fact there is a guy called as dj right okay He's supposed to be one of the biggest podcasters in india so he true. approached me aha ha ha and today i realized uh, there are some statistics i just got on my mobile it's saying that today it is india's number one trending uh, my interview like you are doing right now it's number one fantastic said, wow this guy so three strategies social on online create your own social media on all platforms strategy number two is collaborate with others who are already in the social media platform and the third is keep testing and experimenting new ideas on the social media or online platforms absolutely brilliant there isn't that amazing aur kahin na kahin ye dono baatein bilkul saath mein milti hui nazar aa rahi hain like in physical form you do book launches on other people's platform you don't have to put money and online as well there are other people's channels and platforms there are there are influencers and who might just get in touch with you so be available you know be active and and be on look out for these opportunities this is this is getting really interesting now i i you know i use this term a lot of times the term is building business around a book not just becoming an author and thinking about the royalty that you get but probably building a business so that you can reinvest in the book marketing and you can make it really big any comments on that sir absolutely in fact in my book how to write a book and make it a best seller i have written this joke okay which i have read actually from somewhere it says one author was asked an american author right. okay, how much money did you make by writing books right okay so i made 10 million dollars right kitna acha itna royalty milta hai kya <laughs> so you got 10 million dollars by actually writing a book and it's royalty right. he said no i got only 1 million dollar by the royalty of the books i earned remaining 9 million dollars by speaking on the book right wow so what happens is that your book is actually a bigger visiting card yes i always saying that you know book is so how much is a book costing you know 200 300 400 rupees usme se bhi aapko 10 15 tak ka royalty milta hai and the publisher and everything and you know it's it's a very tedious job it is if you look at the calculations yes. it's not that yes. easy yeah so the way you look at it that you said it very nicely build a business around the book right so you can training programs you can right. make movies so if you are having a fiction book and tomorrow right. it becomes a movie right. this happened with chicken burger right so what exactly happened is that his book got converted into movies i have a very dear friend his name is anand nilkanthan right okay yeah so he has been commissioned by the bahubali team to right. actually write books right wow so so you don't understand that this is very big and uh, you know not many people know this that book is actually world's number one industry right you may know how come but i thought you know tourism is world's number one industry yeah of course tourism is so let me give you an example that uh, uh, the biggest the richest man this particular generation actually is a bookseller amazon right so it started as a book shop absolutely okay of course it diversified and now we have movies and everything True. but even if you come to movies the biggest ever movie that got the largest money is avengers end game the last right. part of the series it made 2.1 billion dollars right. you know just calculate the yeah. number of zeros yeah. yeah you know avengers is actually a book it's a comic book right. oh right yeah and yeah yeah so we don't understand yeah. how big yeah uh, business around a book can be right. i'll give you one more statistics so you know uh, so there's a friend of mine who actually uh, does uh, books into movies as right. a profession Right. and he's from uh, uh, hollywood 
right okay of course i have a lot of friends in bollywood also because i told you about neeraj pandey so there is a friend of mine who is in hollywood right and he is a specialist in the books into movies right right so that's what does as a profession and he was you know once making a presentation in india and he told me something very strange and it was like very eye catching and he said 8 out of 10 okay 8 out of 10 hollywood movies that become blockbusters are actually based on books wow so if you look at batman if you look at end game and i'm not even talking about characters I'm harry potters and all of that <laughs> if you think about this so india mein hum to abhi shuruaat hi kar rahe hain so you can make a lot of money so book is a center but you can do lot of things around it so you know it's it's an evolving thing and you know india is still on the starting point but yeah. but if you know it right because today content is very important and writers have content yes film ke liye bhi script lagti hai yes this friend of mine who actually wrote a book and uske upar movie bani <laughs> you will be surprised by the amount the first book itself he made 2 and a half crores by just giving the rights of the book to make a movie right another friend of mine who signed up with a very big company where he actually wrote a I mean he wrote a book and the book purchased the rights for it he made 50 lakh rupees straight right that book never will get went into a movie because of the production house problem right the contract says agar 5 saal mein movie nahi bani to you can sell it again so 50 lakh banane le bhi dusra jag usko 2 crore de raha hai so so think like a business man yeah. first make a quality yeah. book yeah and of course coming back there are different ways of uh, so movies is only one part of it now there are you know web series available yeah. then yeah. you can go and translate them into languages so so you have to think very strategically okay it cannot be book for the sake of book ebooks is one thing audio books is one thing so you know you can uh, you can become an advisor right. that's what i have seen you know because corporate chanak is so famous lot of people actually call me to be the board of advisors that right so depending on how more you can creatively think it is like you know aapke haath mein ek cheez mila hai usko saw kaise karna wo aapke haath mein ji bilkul aur aur i guess that's the reason why you said if you're if you're investing one year to write a book invest two year to market it promote it because yeah. there is so much more you can do do around the book isn't it but Absolutely. but 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 is there anything kuch aisa bhi hai that in order to turn a book into a movie or ye, you know is it like all networking based people through network they reach out to the right people is that, that is, how it should be that's true that's true so what i'm saying is that one is book speaks by itself right and then you have to speak about the book right <laughs> so suppose uh, you seen it on a best seller you know wo wo aadmi lo dhoond ke aayenge aap so i've been fortunate that people have surged me right. and also because i've been active on social media I suddenly get a tweet or message and saying that this guy wants to meet you and who are you a big guy you know chairman of this company and you know this producer and that army general so you know that is how the book actually talks for you yeah okay the other thing is also true if you have a book uh, not necessarily everyone must have read the book so what i do is that whenever i meet people i gift my own book right so i saying that in a visiting card doge to drawer mein pada rahega bilkul book rahoge to table mein pada rahega aur dikhta hai bilkul <laughs> so, so it is very important to network with books and see look at the impression that they will remember you as an author yes okay? so i have gifted thousands of copies of my book yes. thousands are gifted yes. but i gifted and then okay you never know so what's yeah. very important is that yes you are right the book will speak by itself but yeah. you should also speak about the book networking is very very important for selling the book and maximizing the book and one such strategy that you have just shared is gift your books to people gift it to them give it to them you know even if they don't read it they know that you are the author the book is going to be there on the table yeah right? and and who knows who might just pick up the book somebody coming as a guest in their family they look at the book on the table they pick it up and boom he is a movie director who knows that <laughs> absolutely you are absolutely right right super now this is this is getting really really interesting so now what is your advice i i mean all of us whatever it is that we have been discussing is it's all you know advice is only but what is it that you would like to uh, you know say to to people who are watching this first thing is you know you know a lot of people want to get published by penguin and other big public uh, big publishers but i guess it's not that everybody will get that opportunity to get published even the best of authors in india we have seen were not you know they they, they really were not able to grab the attention of those of those editors or were not published ho paaye so they took the self publishing route eventually aaj they were able to make it big to agar aap accept nahi hue traditional publisher se ya whatever it is what's your piece of advice to them so first thing is you have to publish your book 
okay so it doesn't matter it is self published or published by the traditional biggies yeah book to aana hi chahiye so you rightly pointed out uh, you know many times people get rejected and they get frustrated out of it right. it's okay you know but i'll tell you the the one problem that we have is that we only want to get published by the biggies right okay so i've been fortunate that you know random penguin book house right. jeco all these are big guys you know right. rupa they are all traditionally right. big but what is important is because you are a first time author you don't realize grass is always green on the other side just because you got published by random penguin book house doesn't mean that your book is going to be a best seller absolutely they also publish so many authors but yes. are are all of them you know as big as dr radha krishnan pillai or amish tripathi or chitra bhagat for that matter right so that's a very important thing is that if you don't get a bit for publisher still publish it in some way maybe you can publish it with the first time publisher right. you know, there are so many first time publishers right to unse publish karo ya self publishing karo lekin publish karo right and you are absolutely right you know i i know friends who who published it and then later on a big publisher took the right right so self publish like i if i'm not mistaken i think amish's first book was self published you are right it was indeed So then somebody read it and said, "We want the rights." The yes. second, third became bigger. Yes. But publish it. If you don't yes. publish it, it doesn't matter. You know? Right. So you're just lying there. So big or small, but publish it. That is a key tip for every first-time author. Fantastic. And how important is now? Now towards the we are we are moving towards the end of our conversation, Doctor Pillai. How important is Kindle and Amazon? And you know specifically, I would say Amazon. Not even talking about Flipkart. but from global perspective how important is amazon kindle uh, and and amazon as a platform what do you have to say about that so if you're not on amazon you don't understand the publishing world right so it is very important to be in amazon or flipkart any of this see these are all not companies they are giants right okay and uh, so i have been very frank uh, to tell you that i work very closely with amazon right. i work very closely with flipkart hmm. see they 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 change the way the industry runs okay right. so kindle and all those things we have to be there to understand it right okay yahan uh, we are all talking about ice cream okay right but you have to eat it to understand what an ice cream is right so amazon jo platform hai it is unimaginable you know when amazon guys approached me for making an audio book they had no clue and you know they are so efficient they are world class right. i mean i'll give you a simple example i never met these guys okay they right. called me up. they already right. knew about me they just uh, discussed the idea they sent the contract they just gave the money in advance and then over and out and i am also on a mission what tak 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 and they get a grand launch and suddenly you know in 22 countries day yeah. one yeah. people are listening to me yeah true so so same advantage is there in kindle you know when you have a book physical book coming to your house it takes time logistics then it's okay physical books will always be there but what i'm saying is that when you put it on kindle it download is tak 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 true it's very important to understand these are not just new platforms they are excellent platform they are processes systems that's why that the level is very different so okay coop a main do you know the, the frog in the well we are sitting and looking at all those things but when you go and use it's an ocean so my suggestion friends is that you know please study amazon model be it kindle or audio books please study the flipkart also the indian model and you be there okay so get your book on there or then you will see the difference Yes, it's an ocean. There are so many fishermen out over there. <laughs> you are part of a fisherman who is sure. in the ocean rather than in a pond. Absolutely, absolutely. You said it right, Doctor Radha Krishnan Pillai. If Chanakya uh, se aap na mile hote ya vice versa, I should say. So, so ab ab kya kar rahe hote? Pata nahi kitha to book bechta. But book to mere destiny mein hai. Shayad author alag baat hai. As I told you, even before I became an author, I was a part of the publishing industry. Right. I've been a part of the book culture. घर से शुरुआत हो ये पिताजी लिखते हैं घर पे किताबें हैं. Right. So अगर author नहीं होता तो भी कुछ ना कुछ किताबों के साथ जरूर होता है. ये तो definitely sure. जी बिल्कुल absolutely. And now everybody who is watching this, they want to they want to learn from you. They want to stay connected with you. They want to I mean you you are such an you know you your epitome of knowledge. and whatever your research the work that you have done your author speaker coach everybody how can people learn more from you kaise are are there courses available please tell us something about that please okay so if you want to be in touch with me and learn about chanakya three things 
the first thing is read all my books you know they're very easily available all of the books are available you know so you don't have to worry about out of stock and all those things because amazon also makes money on on my book you know so amazon make sure or flipkarts make sure that my books is in stock my publishers make sure so all my books number one you can read be it uh, physical or digital platforms and they're available in multiple languages yes the second thing to reach me is social media okay right. so right from twitter to linkedin to facebook just type radha krishnan bill i'm all around there right if you write a mail or a message to me i'll surely answer to each one of you the third thing is actually i do a lot of courses right okay, physical courses face-to-face right. courses right so if you want to have a workshop on how to write a book and make it a bestseller i do a lot of programs right then you know uh, actually do one day workshops mentoring so if you have a company if you want me to do a training program for you so that's one of the things one very important thing in the third part about training is actually i had a university course right. in the university of mumbai right so i had an institution called a chanakya international institute of leadership studies right where we offer a two years postgraduate degree on leadership wow. so if you want to be in touch with me for two years best is enroll in that course yes if you want to meet me on my pages then my books are there right. so if you want to meet me on a training program one day i'll be there so what right. i'm saying is that i'm always available digital or physical but you should have love for knowledge of chanakya i'm available in every platform fantastic fantastic how good is that or or dr pillai jate jate kuch kuch aise gyan ke ya kuch aise विजडम के अगर आप कुछ वर्ड्स शेयर कर सकें फ्रॉम फ्रॉम योर नॉलेज चाणक्य से रिलेटेड या जो आपके दिल के करीब हो फॉर दिस कम्युनिटी हु इज वाचिंग यू राइट नाउ सो आई थिंक करेंटली द सिचुएशन दैट वी आर शूटिंग दिस इंटरव्यू इज एक्चुअली ड्यूरिंग द कोरोना वायरस ट्रू ओके सो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वर वेरी नेगेटिव इन द इनिशियल स्टेजेस एंड द नेगेटिविटी इज स्टिल अराउंड बिकॉज़ देयर इज नो इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी राइट चाणक्य वाज एन इकोनॉमिस्ट ओके सो लेट मी टेल यू a very important thing whether you're an author or you're a businessman or you're a housewife whatever you are and i have a pen ready for this <laughs> so yaad rakhiyega ki do cheeze hai one is called paristhiti and the second is called manasthiti right so what is paristhiti Some, something it is not under your control what right. is manasthiti your mind is under your control right so when things are not going good outside but it is you can go inside Sure. so what is very important is think positively things practically think spiritually right okay? so if you want to be an author also or any challenges in your life because being an author is also a challenge yes for life challenges chanakya says utsah vardaka remember the sanskrit word always be inspired utsah vardaka and anybody who comes to you inspire them also right so khud utsahi raho aur dusron ko utsahi banao right this is what chanakya is when you listen to a word like chanakya you will not feel dull or lazy you know? right therefore authors also can't be lazy ki maine kitab likh diya you have to be active right so my suggestion is that jab paristhiti theek nahi hai to manasthiti ko theek karo right and then be positive and believe me you will be a role model to the whole world that is chanakya was a role model and you also can be a chanakya write a book make it a best seller fantastic dr radha krishnan pillai thank you very much on behalf of the entire super power author community that we have and and thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for sparing time at 11:30 pm at night look at that and look at the passion i mean it's see and that's again so important isn't it you could have easily said no you are a busy man you you have so much on your plate but still you are on that mission to help other people i'd so truly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart thank you very much you you, you i wish you all the success in the world and i and i and you write hundreds of books and we are going to be there to read each and every one of the books that you will write and the generations will 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 read those books thank you so very much thank you very much for your time today thank you sir thank you thank you